Hi Taurus, so I hope that you are doing well. This is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Taurus. We'll see the big ideas or awareness for the week. We'll get some guidance, look at possible outcomes, and we'll get additional information from the Oracle card. So let's just go ahead and get started with your reading. First two cards, I'm going to choose the awareness for the week. Okay, so we have the Ten of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles is a card that focuses on family and particularly the financial sense of the family, the resources, the legacy left behind for children or the money to be able to take care of elderly parents or grandparents. So the focus is on how best to serve the interest of the family to take care of the family. This may be a week where you are in touch with lawyers, accountants, investments, um, uh, making sure medical power of attorney is in order, you know, things to benefit the family. There's certainly abundance in this illustration and there are generations as well as the dogs. Focus on how best to serve the family. And, um, you know, we work hard to provide for our family. Maybe there's uh, some extra work that you're doing to even provide more, like to create more of a cushion or more savings or saving up for a special event like a vacation or a child's education. So focus in the awareness this week is on the resources, not just money, but time and energy as well for the good of your family. And so interesting here that we have the justice card because the justice is this major arcana card dealing with fairness, dealing with legal matters at a literal sense. And you may, again, you may be communicating with a lawyer. You may be signing papers that require you to pay attention and to read the fine print. For some of you, uh, it may be dealing with matters of fairness or equality in a situation that perhaps something, uh, there may be decisions being made and you're hoping that they're going to be fair. It could be treatment by a loved one, by a coworker, by a friend? Uh, are they being fair within a situation or maybe being unfair again? Things to be aware of is the equality within your relationships, work, personal, and to be aware of, uh, you know, of doing the right thing. You may have to make a choice this weekend or make a decision and Justice is, is about integrity, and it's about being truthful. And at the heart of it, it would say, do the right thing. You know what the right thing is. Just do it. So now let's choose cards for guidance. Okay, we're going to go down here. Okay, so we have the Page of Swords, youthful page, could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and you can see how he is looking back. He's in a somewhat defensive pose. So he may be thinking there could be some cloudy weather coming or some challenges, and I need to be ready for them. And I need to be able to use my smarts and my thinking in order to handle them. Again, he is youthful and is trying to build experience and so uh, this may be a chance to to again focus on your thinking 
Focus on how you are strategizing in terms if there is a situation where there isn't fairness or equality needs to be applied. Um, this could be be aware and be mindful and use your thoughts and the facts to help make decisions. So this sense of being ready, being prepared. And then we have the lovers, major arcana. So again, this week it's a focus on relationships. Guidance is about your relationships and perhaps we're getting a message of to be truthful, to be honest, to be um, fair within relationships and to think about fairness. The lovers is a deep bond between people, whether it's romantic or whether it's platonic. It is a significant, meaningful relationship. Here they're without their clothes on, they're vulnerable, they're open to getting hurt. And that is allowing yourself really to, to have true love, is to be okay that things may not work out or through the process of getting to know each other and building intimacy, it may hurt a couple times. It may There may be some painful revelations. But the lovers is this opportunity here for a deep, meaningful relationship. And for those that are married or committed in a committed relationship, maybe that sounds better. Um, you know, you always have things to think about. You always have actions and matters to handle within a relationship. It's important. And your discussions about family are also probably important and about the resources of the family and the equity of a husband or a wife's actions or a lover or, you know, your partner of what they're putting into a relationship. So guidance is to pay mind to your love relationship, to the important relationship in your life. So let's see possible outcomes. Let's start over here. Let's dig down here. Okay. So possible outcomes, fantastic, ace of cups, love, delight, joy, the epitome of a wonderful emotional connection with someone else, a relationship, a love connection, the potential for marriage, the potential for a deep bond where emotions are flowing and you are expressing your emotions and you're not afraid to show those emotions. And that is important. And so, you know, with the lovers and the Ace of Cups, we have some deep, meaningful love here happening. And again, if you've been married for a long time, it, it's a matter of reconnecting and deepening a bond. Every day is an opportunity to do so. And it's a marvel to watch and to, to learn <clears throat> something new about your loved one every day. And so finally, in terms of possible outcomes, we have the hanged man, Major Arcana. And so the hanged man brings a sense of whether you're having to sacrifice something and, and you're okay with that at this time. He's comfortable here in this position. Or there's a scenario where you have to look at things differently and you have to try a new way of thinking and perhaps it's related to problem solving and an intellectual approach that you're going to have to change your perspective. You're going to have to look at things in a new way, a new approach. And um, that may lead to some, again, more information coming your way, a greater, uh, greater insight perhaps into your family or into your love relationship. And... Uh, it's this knowing sacrifice. You may have to sacrifice something in order to have the happiness with this Ace of Cups. So very, very lovely card. Again, do the right thing. Fairness, equality, 
focus on family, focus on your love for the for your your lover, your husband, the person that you're hoping to to meet. Focus on the potential of the, of deepening these relationships. So now let's choose a card for focus area or meditation. When I lean on the faith of the universe, peace becomes real. So it's having faith that the universe is leading you in the direction that it hopes that you'll choose and, and take. And having faith in yourself as well. You know, when you have true faith and belief that things turn out okay, then you find a sense of peace. And so now I'm going to choose an oracle card for spirit or emotional self. Listen. You have to be willing to listen if you want to really understand someone. Now is not the time to be offering advice, but to be a compassionate listener. To listen fully and intently means to pay attention, not to just what's being said, but to what lies beneath the words. Listening is really important in relationships. Not only the lover relationships, but listening within the family realm as well. Listening to what everyone's saying and how they're, um, you know, where they're coming from. And finally, I'm going to choose a card for love. Let's get a little more information for love. We have some love in the cards tonight and today. And so uh, let's see what else we have. What other messages? Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And this is a pretty powerful statement because we often have this sense of who we think we want. And so we truck along that way. And then out of the blue, we meet someone who's really not our type and they could knock our socks off. So you have to just be open. You have to be open to all experiences with people all opportunities to connect and you never know what's going to happen. You never know the dynamic and the interplay between two people. So wonderful cards this week. Nice reading. I think good things for you to think about. I hope you found something helpful here with this reading. And if you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like, share, or comment. I'd love to hear from you. And have a super week. I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care.